open-ended question that seemingly has no answer. Who will be the next Speaker of the House? And with it uh, come, of course, the potential global consequences as well, considering the ha House right now is virtually shut down as tensions rise by the hour inside the Middle East. We'll get into the rumblings and possibilities in a moment here. But first, did you see this earlier today? Jim Jordan on the House floor. Look at this picture. Look closely. Huddled up, intently watching. Right behind him, <laughs> Kevin McCarthy enjoying one of those. A good old laugh. Now, we don't know the context here, of course, but I think it just goes to show a picture is worth a thousand words. And Kevin McCarthy is like, I'm out of this. Yo turn. Or is he? You know? Or is he? Yeah, is. is he? I don't know. What do you think? You don't think he is? I don't know. I would like to see Kevin McCarthy in a very slim possibility come back and be speaker again. I mean, the job it takes to get this position is the same, as Max knows better than any of us, as the wheeling and dealing that's required behind the scenes. So let's see if Jordan can even get that done. I don't know if he can. Okay, so just to hit the pause button, Jim Jordan went on the House floor earlier today, got 200 votes, needs 217. It appears, if, you know, next go around, he might actually lose some, is, is now starting to be the thinking. So the question is, what happens next? This is your party. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a very good question. And as I've said before, again, on this program, democracy is messy, watching the process oh. go forward. I think it's educational. I think it's great. Oh, but I, you wouldn't be saying I, that I, if it was on the Democrat <laughs> side. Mm, I don't Oh, Democrats are fond of saying that to begin with, but but I think this is the problem, and especially among the grand old party, of which I'm a part, we think that it is uh, fresh faces that were not, frankly, allowed to, to serve when we're, you know, spending money against each other. I've talked about it before again, but the unity that Democrats show, you know, everyone seems to fall in line and, and figure out a way to, you know, the talking points go out, everyone disseminates them, this is what happens. In the Republican Party, we we are fractious. We have a lot of ideas. And I do think we need to take a page out of your guys' book and unite for the fact that look at everything that's going on in the world. We do okay. need to contest that. It's important. So th th there's probably going to be another vote here. Maybe tonight. I, I don't know. We don't know. Again, the theme here is we don't know. Follow along with us. Uh, we're all trying to figure it out. When I walked in, I was said to the former congressman, hello, nice to see you. Uh, who do you think it's going to be? And you said? It's Zeldin. Lee Zeldin, who is yeah. currently... Not in Congress. A private citizen. Yeah. Um, yeah. Explain. Well, for, first of all, it's a little known fact that you do not have to be a sitting member of Congress to be elected speaker. And as you look at what's happening, look, those 20 people are not going to flip for Jim Jordan. That's crazy, right? What you need in any speaker is someone who can activate the base, raise a lot of money, and be acceptable in purple districts. And sometimes, to my chagrin, although he's a friend of mine, Lee is capable of all three. Um, so I think he got three votes today. I think that those votes will only increase. Certainly, they'll think about Patrick McHenry. Th certainly, they'll, they'll, they'll think about the gender at one point or another. But, <laughs> but, Lee, but Lee Zeldin, I, I do believe, ha has a really a striking chance here. But don't you think you need to know the rules of the place and the structure? I well, mean, he, don't you well, want he, he someone... Was a, he was a member for, yeah. he was a, member for, for a decade. But from leadership, potentially. Oh, uh, you know, no one knows what the hell they're doing in Congress, no matter how, <laughs> many, no matter how long... Did you they, say that they, when you were in uh, it? Yeah, <laughs> especially when I was in it. So, so you know, I, I think anyone can can learn that process. Kevin McCarthy didn't, didn't know. Jim Jordan sure as hell wouldn't, well, have, right. wouldn't, wouldn't yeah. have known. But those 20 votes, when you look at some of those folks... The entire worry, and it's very well founded, is that Jim Jordan cannot go anywhere near a swing district. Totally. He can go to, you know, the uh, January 6th party, but he cannot go anywhere near a swing Man. district. Man. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.